Have you ever had a friend breakup? There's just something so painful about breaking up with a friend. I've always found it hurts a lot deeper than a romantic breakup. Like this was someone who had your back and who you depended on without the expectation of attraction or romance. My hardest breakups were when I had to walk away from a friendship. But you know what's worse than losing a friend? Overstaying in a friendship that only makes you feel miserable. Humans are social creatures. No matter how much of an introvert you are, you still want to belong. We want to be a part of something. On the positive side, connecting with others can be so healing and rewarding. On the negative side, being around the wrong people can drain you and leave you feeling empty. However, sometimes we're so scared of being alone that we stay in relationships that only bring us down. We start making excuses and we keep latching onto people just for the sake of keeping them in our lives because we're afraid of loneliness. Better to have a friend that makes you feel bad than no friend at all, right? I know it seems harsh, but that's what I used to think. I was worried about hurting someone's feelings if I decided to stop being friends with them. Even though they weren't really worried about my feelings because they'd still keep doing things to upset me. I would tell myself that we had been friends for so long. For years. That doesn't matter though if the friendship has started to drain you. I would remind myself that our friendship was different before. Now we're not as close, but we used to be before, right? Except that sometimes certain people aren't meant to be in your life forever. Even something that started out beautiful can unfortunately become toxic. Sometimes people just change. Your interests could start diverging. Your values may become radically different. That's okay. It's part of life. Just like how you're different from the you 10 years ago, your friends are also going to change in their own ways over time. Sometimes those changes you go through overlap. There will be times though when you and a friend may be on completely different journeys and it may be time to walk your own separate ways. That's happened to me a few times and while it hurt at the time, I know it's what was best for both parties. Truly, you know how you know that it's time to let go of a friendship? These are the telltale signs I've noticed. You're always the one reaching out to check up on them. If you don't send them a text or call them, they may go forever without texting you. You don't find yourself looking forward to hanging out with them, almost like it's a chore. If you find yourself constantly feeling like canceling plans with the same person, then there's a sign that this friendship is nearing its end. Another sign is when you feel down or drained after you see your friend. Have you ever just left feeling a little sad or even in a bad mood after hanging out with someone? If this is something that happens constantly when you see a friend, then that's a sign that they're draining your energy. What about those friends that always come to you when they have a problem, but the moment you need support, they're nowhere to be found? Have someone like that in your life? The last sign, which is honestly the worst, and I've experienced this firsthand, is finding out that a friend is gossiping and speaking badly about you behind your back. If you've experienced that pain, I feel you. It feels like a betrayal, ugh. Ugh, the intense crying that I went through when that happened. I remember overanalyzing and going down an anxiety spiral, trying to understand what I could have done wrong. What did I do to make someone I care about speak so horribly about me? The thing is that you can be the kindest person ever and someone could still find a reason to dislike you or be mean to you. You can bend over backwards, break your back, and someone may still decide not to like you. However, 
A true friend would never gossip about you behind your back. A true friend is not only there for your wins, but is also there for you during your lows. They lift you up and are honest with you. They give you a safe space to be yourself without judgment. They hold you accountable and are okay with having tough conversations with you. Unfortunately, not all friendships will be like this. You do have a choice though. Do you continue to stay in a friendship or a relationship that holds you back? You can choose to walk away from a friendship. You don't owe anyone anything. Just like your friend doesn't owe you anything either. You choose to be friends with each other. It doesn't need to be dramatic. You don't have to write a long text explaining why you're ending the friendship. You just simply distance yourself. I'll let you know right now that it will be painful. You may feel guilt. You may feel like a bad friend. It's important to also recognize what role we may have played in affecting a relationship. Maybe you're the toxic friend. Maybe it's time for some self-reflection and being honest with yourself. But sometimes people just are no longer aligned with each other and that's okay. There's no need to be bitter, even though you may feel bitter at first. Don't give in to temptation to badmouth your ex-friend. Don't send them negative vibes. What helped me is recognizing that that's just another human just like me, with their own traumas and their own journey. You never know what someone is going through unless they tell you. You never know what could have happened to make someone act in a way that is hurtful. Now, I will point out that sometimes we go through seasons in life. Maybe a friend has been MIA, but they recently had a baby and they may be feeling overwhelmed. Maybe a friend is going through a tough time and they've been distant because of that. That's totally understandable. You don't have to drop someone just because you both are in slightly different seasons. Check in on them. Offer support if you can. Give them space. Then, maybe once things balance out again, you can reconnect. But remember the telltale signs of a toxic friendship that may be doing you no good. You will eventually find your people, the people who will love you exactly for who you are. You don't have to be anyone other than yourself. They'll celebrate your accomplishments with you and they'll also be there to hold you up when you fall. Trust me, as painful as it is to walk away from a friendship, You'll feel so much better when you cut out toxic relationships from your life. You'll feel lighter. It's also an act of self-love because you're showing yourself how you want to be treated and prioritizing placing people in your life that make you better, not worse. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope this video made you feel a little less alone. If you enjoyed this video, I post videos about self-love and fashion every week, so you can check out more of those on my channel as well. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye! Love you!